Hey, peace and blessings, family. It's Nero here. And today I want to talk to you guys today about the fourth house in astrology and what the fourth house deals with. And so with that being said, let's get into it. So the fourth house in astrology. The fourth house in astrology is one of, um, let me not mention that, but the fourth house in astrology is also um can also be referred to and is also known as the house of home and so um uh, and it doesn't necessarily it doesn't necessarily pertain, sometimes it does pertain to like your actual you know home and you know like your homeland and all that and that's nothing i want to get to but more so it pertains more it pertains more so to the home within yourself and then when we talk about um when we talk about homes uh, when we talk about home what does a home do for you it you know it gives you security, it gives you a foundation, you know it brings you stability, a lot kind of like the second house too in a way, right? And to- kind of like the second house in a way too, all right? I mean the second house rules Taurus. Taurus is all about stability, and fourth house rules Cancer. Cancer is about stability, but the main difference between you know the second house and the fourth house are Taurus and Cancer, is that Taurus seeks stability more so through means of you know what can be seen and what's physical. And well, and cancer doesn't more so with things dealing with the, you know, unseen and that which is not physical. So that's like the main difference in a nutshell. But yes, now back to the fourth house. The fourth house doesn't only represent the home, you know, whether that's with it, you know, whether that's the home within us, our soul, or the home outside of us. It also represents our family, you know, the, uh, our family and our roots, you know, and our childhood, you know, what all that, you know, what all that was like growing up, you know, the relationship we have with our family especially the mother because the fourth house is uh associate the mother so especially the mother and then you know like, yeah, like i was saying the relationship we have the family though and then um the relationship that the family had you know with us you know because every relationship is always about you know every relationship can always be vice versa so just thought i put that there but yeah it also you know it applies to you know your home you know you know fam you know fam if family it also can apply, um, this is also a house that deals with, you know, you know, privacy and, you know, uh, privacy is also, you know, co- you know, with privacy comes comfort or, you know, like vice versa with comfort comes privacy because in order to be comfortable, sometimes you need privacy. So, yeah. But, and then the whole thing with comfort and privacy goes back to the thing with security anyway. So that's just more, that's just adding more to it. That don't need to be added, but it is what it is. So, yeah, most of that is what the fourth house deals with. And, and there was something else I wanted to add. Oh, yeah, the fourth house is also where IC is located. And IC is a sign that's on our fourth house cusp. It's one of, um, um, and in each of our angular, each, in each of our angular houses, which I forgot to mention in my first house video, our angular houses are our first, fourth, seventh, and tenth houses, and they all each hold a specific sign, which, you know, represents the core parts of our, you know, um, uh, the core parts of us as an, as an individual. There is um. There is the first house, which has our rising sign. The fourth house, which has our IC sign. The seventh house, which has our descendant sign, opposite of, uh, you know opposing our rising sign, and then there's the tenth house, which has our mid heaven and our M- MC opposing our IC. And so yeah, with the IC, uh, for the most part, IC pretty much you know. Is pretty much explained by the things I was mentioned earlier. I see the I see, you know, talks, you know, it's at the lowest point of your chart. It deals with, you know, it deals with the um, uh, I see for the most part deals with the part of you that isn't known to the public, but only more so known to you. And, you know, going back to that, you know, and this is going back to that thing, which I was talking about with, you know, with, you know, the privacy and the, com- you know, the comfortable and security. So it all goes hand in hand. And the best way to look at the IC is just the best way to look at the IC is like where you come from, fourth house, and then the MC, which is the midheaven, you know, where you're going, 10th house. So, yeah, there you go. Now, you know, I mentioned all that I mentioned about the fourth house. We can kind of see what, you know, we can see which sign, we can see which sign, you know, and I already mentioned earlier which house this sign rules over, but we can see why. We can see where, you know, we can see where, can, you know, the Cancerians, Cancer energy gets that influence from, which is a fourth house energy. But talk about Cancer real quick. What is Cancer? A cardinal water sign. And what's cardinal water? Yeah. Or what is, you know, what does cardinal water mean? It means initiating, creating, taking action, taking the lead. 
you know, when it comes to things dealing with, you know, you know, your emotions and feelings, you know, the, your, you know, your intuition, you know, your gut, you know, your, un- you know, things dealing with uh, matters of the unconscious and the subconscious, you know, the soul, you know, go on and on with that, but you, you get it. And then not to mention not that the fourth house and also and cancer, you know, or more so, you know, the fourth house rules cancer. By default, we already know that the moon rules the fourth house. And what is the moon? The moon, is, you know, the moon is the, you know, the moon is the point that represents like our, the moon is the point that represents our soul, you know, our inner child and all that. And our, you know, um, you know, it's also a point that those are, you know, um, um, and it's, it is the point, or more so, it is the point that those are our emotions and feelings, you know, and what we, you know, what we need to feel secure within things like that. And then I forget what the emotions and feelings is also, you know, with emotions and feelings, it also, it also deals with reactions and response, you know, it also does, you know, our reactions and our responses as well. So, yeah. And then, there, you know, to react and respond goes hand in hand with that cardinal energy too. So, yeah. And then the moon also represents the mother too. So that also goes, that goes back to what I was talking about earlier, the fourth house is being like, you know, dealing with the family, but especially the mother, because the fourth house is also, associate with the mother more so than anybody else in the family whereas the fifth house will be associated with the father but i'll get to that when i talk about the fifth house but yeah but yep moon cancer fourth house you know there's that trinity again it's all interconnected and now to use like a um say uh use like um use my you know use my own placement for this real quick to give an example of like how you know a placement will work you say you got the sun in the fourth house, what your sun needs, your actions, your conscious awareness, or, you know, um, for, yeah, for the most part, it's your conscious, it's your conscious awareness, your actions and your, your wants. And so, you know, what you're consciously aware of is also, you're always consciously aware of, and you know, you're always consciously aware, you are, you are always consciously aware of, fixated on and geared towards things dealing with, you know, be, you know, being secure within yourself pretty much. And you're trying to establish a foundation, you know, within yourself so you can, you know, and um, and that, that's like one way of looking at it. And you're always fixated on trying to, um, and you and you, and then you're a person who also likes your you know comfort and your privacy pretty much, and that's what you would want because the sun is here. But it goes deeper than that. But I don't want to get too deep in this video. But I'm just providing an example real quick. And then my sign, and my sign, uh, the sun, my sun sign is actually Taurus, which would be my IC as well, since since my sun is in the fourth house in Taurus. And what's a Taurus IC mean? Well, it pretty much means that when it comes to things dealing with your fourth house issues, trying to, you know, when it comes to things dealing with, like, you know, your family life growing up and, you know, and the relationship with your mother, because don't forget the uh, fourth house was over the mother. Um, or the fourth house is associated with the mother. It can also, um, it can also be associated with that. And it could also just be, uh, or if none of that, it can also just be, your, you know, how you like to handle things dealing with your own, you know, emotional security, you know, your own emotional comfort, you know, privacy and all that. You do that, you do that in the tour, you know, you do that in a Torian way. And what does that mean? You do that through, um, it's kind of, um, you do that through, you know, bringing about, ba- you know, you do that through bringing balance and harmony within the home and, you know, um, the relationship with, you know, say the relationship with your mother would have been really balanced and very harmonious because and that's because Taurus is ruled by Venus and so you know whatever sign is in this house you know whatever signs in the IC even if the actual planet that rules that sign isn't there um it because the sign carries that energy it's still gonna uh um it's still gonna feel like that planet is in this house so the Taurus IC is like Venus in the fourth house what does that mean you like the uh you know you like that that just simply means that um whether it's Venus, whether it's Venus in the fourth house or the Taurus, I see that means you like to you like to you like to be very nurturing a lot, you know, with you know the things that you value when it comes to things dealing with you know, um, when it comes to things dealing with your own privacy or your family or your mother, you know, take it how you, you want to take it. You know, everybody's interpretation is different, but yeah, for the most part, it's always going to be about bringing you know st- about, with that Taurus I see. It's always going to be about bringing that balance of stability, which is how I always like to do it in my home. So. Yeah, but anyway, you guys, um, this is gonna be my take on the uh, the fourth house, you know, and or cancer. And if you liked it, feel free to give a like. If you have any feedback, you know, criticism, questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. 
you know, and then I'll talk to you guys later next video where I talk about the fifth house, you know, and I'm definitely going to like that. That'd be cool. So be ready for that. Until then, I'll talk to you guys later and I love you guys. Peace.